All right, so you have white fuzzy stuff on your plants, your leaves may be a little sticky, and you're probably wondering what's going on. Good chance you have mealybugs. Now, mealybugs are in the category of a phloem sucking insect, it means they have a little uh, stylet, and they, and they pierce into the sugar transport of the plant and pull the sugars out. And that stickiness is their poo. So basically their, go, their excrement is very sugary. You might not even notice the mealybugs, but you might be noticing you have ants. Now what happens is the ants will come in and they want that sugary poo. So they will literally farm the mealybugs and they will protect the mealybugs from any beneficial insects that come along and will parasitize them or kill them. So usually that's not a problem inside with your house plants, but outside say on your citrus and your plants outside, it's a good idea to control the ants. So you could control your ants by using uh, something called Tanglefoot. It's a sticky substance that you just put around all the access points to your plant. So say you have a citrus tree and they're coming up the main trunk. Well, wrap it around the trunk. Usually you wanna put like some masking tape on first and then apply the Tanglefoot but make sure there's not a branch onto a fence because the ants will then just go there and then come along and go on your tree that way. So control the ants if you do have mealybugs. Now, sometimes your mealybugs may be dead. If you're going into winter or coming out of winter and you notice them, this is what I do at the conservatory. I take one, I squish it. If it has orange guts, then it's still alive. If it's flaky and dry, then it's dead and you just want to monitor. Something else that could be happening too, is especially outside, you may have natural predators that are already taking care of the mealybugs. Now at the conservatory, we have a whole bunch of parasitic wasps that are established in the greenhouse. And every other week I bring in some parasitic wasps to control the mealybugs. And what I do is I take a hand lens and I'll look at the mealybugs close up. And if they look like they almost have half of their end opened up, that means that mealybug was parasitized and the parasitic wasp did its thing and then emerged out. Now inside, good chance that's not going to be the case in your house plants. So what do you do with mealybugs? Well, the key is to keep at it. One time treatment isn't necessarily going to help. So my go to treatments are a soap spray, neem oil, wiping off with a wet paper towel and even rubbing alcohol. Now rubbing alcohol, you should dilute it about 50% and you only want to spray it on leaves at the maximum twice. So if you have a big infestation, dilute your rubbing alcohol, spray it, it'll drip all over the plant. You could come back and then wipe the rubbing alcohol off. Wait about a week and do it again. You don't want to use rubbing alcohol too much because it could desiccate your leaves and kill them. You don't want to use them on furry leaves, hairy leaves as well. So that's when I would use the neem oil, the soap sprays, or a wet paper towel. Now, plants can handle a good amount of mealybugs, but sometimes when the leaves get so sticky, you'll get something called sooty mold, and that is where fungus will grow on the sugary substance of the, the plant, basically the poo, and it'll block photosynthesis. You see this once again a lot on outside plants, especially citrus. With that, you wanna take a hose blast and wipe everything off. So between just wiping off, spraying with the products I mentioned, controlling the ants and keeping at it and monitoring, you could control mealybugs so they're not a problem for your house plants or outdoor plants as well.